Welcome back everybody. All right, so now that we have our basic document, we need to go put stuff in here. Now, you'll notice that if you type in something here, it'll just simply come up on the screen. Now, for the most part, you don't want to do that. Um, and JSBin kind of just does that for you. But what you really need to do is anything that you put inside an HTML document, you need to put in tags. So, for example, you saw we have the HTML tag, we have the body tag. Let's go ahead and let's add in something called a paragraph tag. So, it's just simply P. And then we're going to close off that tag right away. You want to get in the habit of closing off that tag. Okay. Now, you'll notice that if we go ahead and put the capital P, uh, this turns red, and the reason is is that it should be all lowercase. Okay, and you'll notice that uh, things that turn in red in JSBin will equal some kind of error or warning. Now, if you get a warning, don't worry about it. You'll just work through it. Lots of times when professional programmers are coding, there's warnings all over the place. I know I do that. Everyone does that, but they go ahead and they fix them. Okay, so now that we have a paragraph tag, we can type in whatever we want. Okay, and you'll notice that this is exactly the same as what we did before. Well, the, the reason why we need to put things in tags is we can put attributes in uh, to this tag. We can put in the font, the color, uh, the alignment, all this, this cool stuff. And I'm going to show you that in a different tutorial, but I do want to show you one other thing here. Okay, so we have, our basic, um, we have our basic website. And remember, these white spaces don't really matter. I can do this as much or as little as I want. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put in something called a header. Okay, so I'm just going to type in H1. So we have paragraphs and we have headers. Okay, and you'll notice how if I don't close this tag off, you'll see that the the word awesome is now bigger, and that's what the the header does. It makes the text bigger. Okay, and if I close this off, awesome goes back right to the uh, to the lower uh, case, and the reason is is because again it's I've closed off the tag. So remember this header tag works all the way until it's closed. So if I put the header tag like this, that means the paragraph is it within header. Now what I've shown you here is something you don't want to do. I'm just showing it uh, to you just to, to kind of make a point. So generally what you want to do is you want to have a tag and you want to close it off uh, right away when you're first starting out. Later on you can go ahead and nest them uh, but for the most part uh, you want to do it just like this. Okay, So we can type in header 1 like that. Now there are six different kinds of headers and you can type in header 2 and just for practice let's go ahead and let's type them all out. Okay, So we got header 2, we got header 3, and then again, I'm closing all these off, right? And you'll notice that you can't do header four like that, right? Because again, you haven't set up the first tag of header four and it turns red. It means there's an error, okay? And uh, again, sometimes you just might make a uh, mental, um, you might make a mental mistake and you might just put in something like, you know, header four and something happens, it happens all the time. Remember, remember you just have to make sure that you uh, reread your code and everything will be fine. And the last one here is going to be header six. Okay, and you can see it's not that difficult. Okay, and I've closed everything off here and I'm just gonna type in header two. And if you really want to, you can copy and paste this. You know, um, you can just paste it. It's not really that difficult. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and you can see that we have all these different kinds of headers. And you can see that the paragraph is actually bigger than header uh, five and six. But you can have all those header headers if you want. Um, and, and that's essentially what it is. Now, can you only have one uh, header, header one tag? No, you can have, you can copy this and you can have a thousand of these if you want, right? Um, you can have as many or as little of them as you want. I'm just showing you how to set everything up, all right? And so for the most part, these are the two things that you'll be working with, okay? Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll talk a little bit more about what you can do with these. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.